John J.K. Edge of Reason, exhibited by Jordan and Whitney Ebert of Algoma, Wisconsin. And winning the class is entry number 284, Seamers Dundee Hilda, exhibited by Jordan Seamers of Cleveland, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Judge Tandy, your comments. Well, a beautiful class of cows and two good ones, especially on top. They're just made right. Uh, both uh, exceptionally high lifetime production and in there. You know, the cow in first place, just a little more height and width the rear udder today. A little more rib on her today. Just a little more cow all the way through and length of leg and length of body and style about her. And certainly a bit more height and width the rear udder as we look at them from the rear. Uh, two over three a cow today that's just a little derrier. A little bit more feminine through the head. A little more open in that rib and back into the quality of bone in the leg today. We like the big tall cow in third, but just a little coarse in, in dairy bone structure and uh, not quite as feminine, not quite as flat boned as what the one and two cow are today. Third over fourth because of mammary systems. Height and width the rear udder today. And uh, fourth over fifth, again, mammary systems. Uh, height and width the rear udder and a bit more correct in the four teeth placement on four over five. If you're marking your catalogs, along with us in the Junior Holstein Show, there were five 125,000-pound cows exhibited. Entry 299 was second by John J.K. Edge of Reason, exhibited by Jordan and Whitney Ebert of Algoma, Wisconsin. Entry 300 placed fifth. Entry 301 was fourth. Entry 302 placed third, Erlen Terrison Steff, exhibited by Scott Landis of Goshen, Indiana. And entry 284, transfer from our H. Cow class, was the winning entry. Seamers Dundee Hilda, exhibited by Jordan Seamers of Newton, Wisconsin. Now in the ring are those animals competing for senior and reserve senior champion female of the junior show. These cows were first or second in the senior cow classes this afternoon. The senior champion female wins an award presented in memory of Lee Kraft, Charme Holsteins, Monroe, Wisconsin, and another award presented by the Wisconsin Junior Holstein Association, as well as a rosette presented by Second Look Holsteins, the Hodor family of Eden, Wisconsin. The reserve senior champion female wins an award presented by the Wisconsin Holstein Association and a rosette presented by Second Look Holsteins, the Hodor family of Eden, Wisconsin. Judge Verdet has completed his placing in the six-year-old and over cow class. First of all, we'd like to recognize two cows that have produced over 100,000 pounds a lifetime. The Ayrshire Association asks entry 613, Palmyra Romeo Rosie, exhibited by Palmyra Farm, to please step forward and be recognized for 100,000 pounds of milk produced lifetime. And also 617, Cedarvale Black China, who produced 100,000 lifetime and is the highest lifetime production cow of the show. First place bred known is also 613 Palmyra Romeo Rosie, exhibited by Palmyra Farm of Hagerstown, Maryland. Placing third in the class is entry 612, Right Angle T. Harley, exhibited by Ski Pal Ayrshires and Yarvie Cows LLC of Brooklyn, Iowa. Second in the class is entry 609, Lumberdale Wilton Icing, exhibited by Charpanche, Roberge, and Barvassois Farm, Alhome, Victoria, Quebec. And the winning entry and also first best udder in the class. Our production award winner, the total performance winner, and also the NASCO International Type and Production Award winner, Sweet Pepper Black Francesca, exhibited by Beverly Donovan of Benton, Maine. Congratulations. Judge, your comments. Ladies and gentlemen, these are uh, three just outstanding age cows here at the top of this class. and. Uh, there's a lot of sorting to do in them, but for us, the cow that comes to the front of the class is the cow that's had five calves. She's the cow that comes out here on that youthful set of feet and legs. She's got that beautiful feminine frame. 
and she spells quality for men to end. When you watch her go around the ring here, she tracks around the ring like a two-year-old cow. She's beautiful on the foot and leg. She's a cow that wears her udder so well at 5K. I was right above the hockey, like the quality of the mammary system, the height to the rear udder. If you'd like to criticize her, maybe just see a little more width right to the top of the rear udder today, but such a beautifully balanced cow to head this class. And when you get her out here on the move, it's hard for us not to win with her. Following with a, just another tremendous dairy frame cow here in second. Uh, a cow you love that quality that she has from end to end. The width, the strength, the power, the openness that she has. And yes, she's so clean boned the whole way through. She's a cow that's just a little cleaner down through the brisket, a little more width through her chest floor. She's a little freer moving on her hind legs, just a little nicer flex to her hock when she gets out on the move than the beautiful uphill running cow here in third. Cow in third, you love that uphill run that she has, the beautiful square frame, a cow that follows that pattern. You love the style, the balance, the beautiful mammary system, the way she carries her udder high above the hocks. Just like to clean her up a little bit through the head and neck, down through the brisket, back through the thigh to get her up over the cows in front of her. But she uses that advance and just such a beautiful blending cow here over the ultra dairy cow coming out in fourth. Cow in fourth, you really love that quality frame that she has, a cow that excels in dairiness the whole way through. Just a cow for us has a little more capacity the whole way through than her cow coming out in fifth. Cow in fifth here has had seven calves. You still uh, wears her udder quite well right above the hock region there. You love the beautiful foot and leg that she has. Just a little more balance, especially through the rear halvens of the udder to keep her up above the next cow coming out here with that super frame in sixth.